All right, so now that we've got everything where we need to be with our rods and our tackle and everything, George Washington and Jefferson National Forest. Now, first thing I see when we get here, uh, read a little bit about it, check this out. Leave no trace, leave no trace. And I look below me, and we got all this trash. You know, guys, we are very blessed to have national public land that we can go to, and it's simple. You know, follow the rules, and there's always going to be somebody. So here in just a little bit, uh, before I leave, if this trash is still here, uh, I'm going to pick it up, throw it in the back of my truck, and we are going to truck on and take it to the dump. All right. So the adventure starts here. So like I mentioned earlier, we are in search of uh, 12 something. I don't know what it is, 12 of something. 12 minnows, 12 trout. Heck, I don't know, I'd be over my limit in trout, but we're in search of 12 sardines. Now, when you are searching for, for bait fish or worms or creeks or minnows or you know whatever it is you always want to go to a, a wet area so right now we're going to go try to find somewhere where it's damp and see if we can't find us some worms all right so i can see like a a little feeder creek right here so i know it's going to be wet and just like i thought uh you can see it a lot of the dampness here now hopefully we're going to be able to turn some rocks over, maybe, and find something. You never know what you're going to find in places like this. Here's a big pile of leaves, possibly. Might be able to find us some worms. Or... Oh! Oh! May have raked him up. There is a bam lizard. Got us a little lizard. Little lizard. Never know. Well, he's small enough to actually possibly, you know, catch something. Ah, here we go. Worm number one. Ooh, ooh, we done hit the jackpot right here. We done hit the jackpot. Look at there. Look at there. Worm number two is in the box. This is really cool, guys. As you can see, Right here this is an old like fire pit right here fire pit and if you can see the size of the trees that were around there's no telling the story in behind this fire pit you know it's like really out right off the beaten path right out in the middle of the woods and stuff and one cool thing about it is there could have been some Indians or cowboys or some bandits who you never know But I would have loved to have been <clears throat> Sitting around this campfire Listening to the stories that were told this campfire pit has got to be I mean look at like that tree this tree that tree I mean that fire pit is probably 50 75 years old and to know what was said around this fire pit would be really cool to un to listen to so we're gonna get this thing hook this thing as many times as we can on so we don't lose this this valuable worm we're having a hard time finding a lot of worms so the more times we hook him the better off we're gonna be so hopefully we won't lose this worm all right oh Ooh, I just had a good bite right there. Ooh! 
<laughs> Here we go. Here we go. That is the start of our task of 12 sardines. 12 sardines. I don't want to let him go right there, but fish number one. Fish number one. Oh, I got two. Two, baby. Look at the colors on that one. I don't even know what kind of sardine that is. But that right there is two. Two. I could see him. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. We ain't going hungry today, baby. We ain't going hungry today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there, that's what I'm talking about. Protein, baby. Protein. Ah, they're biting it. Oh, yeah. That's four, baby. Four. Four. I don't even know what kind of... I really don't even know what kind of fish that is, but... He is going to be dinner. Oh, he is fighting hard, fighting hard. Oh, 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 I actually snagged him. Oh, me, I actually snagged him. We got a, looks like a raccoon. And then that's actually, look at that. That's, that's actually got a claw. That's actually probably a coyote. So we got a uh, raccoon and a coyote in one little spot right here. And if I can find a worm, there is tons of big minnows there. Big minnows right here. Same thing, coyote tracks right here. A lot of wildlife in this area, a lot of wildlife. But what we're lacking is worms. We got to find us some worms. I come over here cause it looked like a, ooh, big snake. I don't know if y'all just saw that. Look, there's another snake. Look at that. See him sitting at the end of that log right there. He's all coiled up. That's a big snake. So, we got a black widow, spider, possibly. One snake took off, there was another snake still sitting there. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any digging underneath that pile. I think we're gonna go back this way. Yes, yes. All right. We are getting there. That one's got some pretty colors on him. Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm needing one more. One more. One more. Ah. Thought that was gonna be him. Yes, yes, we did it, guys. We did it. We did it. Yeah. All right. We did it. Whoa! I am so hungry right now. You are gonna be delicious. Delicious. Here we go, we got a can. Now, these fish right here, they are absolutely small. So here's the process, guys. We're actually gonna remove, we're gonna actually remove the head and then take out the inside gut part. I don't want anything to do with that. Scale them a little bit and put them in a can. Now, we are completely done. As you can see, they are all in there. That right there will get rid of anything that we have on it. And when you're ever getting uh, 
when you're ever preparing anything and you're you're trying to cook something out here in the wild you you don't want to get water it's stagnant water you always want to get where water is flowing hard so we're simply gonna we got us some water and now time to build us a fire and cook these bad boys all right All right, we got us a, a good fire going. Enough just to enough just to boil this water. So as you can see right here, we got our can of sardines and we are about to cook this up. We're going to try to set that can in there. Let it start getting hot. The cooking is definitely happening right now. We cannot go without the old bay. Well, I think everything's cooked. I think we're good to go. So I'm simply going to try to strategically get this can out of the fire. Ooh, that won't too bad. That won't bad at all. All right. So, there we go. Now I'm just going to cool this off a little bit. Definitely cool that can off a little bit. So I can touch it. Now. We are definitely going to enjoy this. Now the moment of truth. I am absolute Old Bay fan, so that broth in there. The broth actually looks good, guys. I, I ain't kidding you. The broth is like looking fabulous. So we're going to take this knife right here, stir it up a little bit. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of value in the broth itself. I'm actually one of them. Oh my gosh, that is that is good. That is absolutely good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make this actually a little bit more accessible to me. Come in, cut it. Mmm, mm-mm. Look at here guys. As bones. Bones. Right there's pure meat, buddy. Pure meat. Mmm. 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 Look at that. He's still trying to swim. Wow. That is absolutely a good piece of muscle right there. It's always amazed me how we got modern conveniences everywhere and when we want something we go to the grocery store and if we need say for instance old bay we go to the grocery we we got everything at our fingertips and since doing these videos it's always fascinated me that it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort to feed our bodies if you don't have a grocery store and i i can only imagine back in the maybe cowboy and Indian days, or, you know, go as far back as you want to go. Those guys truly had to live off the land. And I got a lot of respect for the people back then, you know, that used to uh, roam the land just looking for food. It's like your whole day 
is centered around food. I want to leave you with this. Take the time to go outdoors. Take the time to, you know, take take this challenge. Call it the, the sardine challenge. I don't, I don't care. Call it a sardine challenge. Take the sardine challenge. Go out and see if you can conquer a sardine can full of minnows, creek chubs, whatever it is. Guys, I appreciate you subscribing. Guys, you know the deal. Comment below. And as I always like to do, that's a wrap. Just picking it up. Oh, that's very nice. Yep. Yeah. You too.